maker's law and creations. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the bees of the maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's Benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death, for the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> me too. I wonder why nobody ever taught me her version of the chant when I was a Templar. Oh. Hello, dear. Can we help you? Um, what she means is, in Andraste's name, be welcome. Stop correcting me! What would Andraste do? That's what you should be concerned with, I say. Andraste was no fuss budget. Tell you about the chart? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin. Pride. Arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinta, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the Golden City, heart of all creation, to take the Maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during Chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the Chant of Light, not the Speech of Light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. Well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Bowan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the Maker couldn't fail to take note of us. It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him, you see. He took off all his clothes in the middle of the chart one summer day and ran into the street. He tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned. We were six days drying him out for his cremation. He looked like a pickled egg. So tragic. It is almost mealtime, isn't it? Um, uh, blessings of the Maker and of Andraste, his bride, upon you. I have never seen such a collection of merchants. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Roses can open any woman's heart, you know.
I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? Your Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Orlais has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a Chevalier and we departed shortly after. You know so little of Orlais here. The Chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. Because there is little choice. There are so many wonderful things about Orlais, but Ferelden has something precious. Here, a man, or a woman, is born free and lives free. I do not understand it, but the nobles here are not so high, and none of us are quite so low. As much as I miss my Varroyo, I love where I am. A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. That and more. Some reveal them for their skill and their high service, but others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. What is it? I have work to do. All right. Don't stare. Don't stare at Nietzsche. It's so nice to be in civilization. You can't buy Orlesian silk anywhere in South Reach. Another visitor in my store. Enjoy browsing my wares. My cousin and I have trade connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock, I handle other affairs. No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. My home is the road. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiva. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road oh, is a better mistress than my home city ever was. Um, no, not yet. Perhaps one day. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road oh, is a better mistress than my home city ever was. On the docks of Rialto, life is cheap. As cheap as the dockside ale and the soiled horse. 
You can live a longer life out here. And a wise man can make a comfortable fortune in time.